couple weeks ago, I took a trip to the Welsh coast to a spot that I've been to a bunch of times. A little seaside town called Aberystwyth, where I used to visit a friend at uni. But this time, instead of going out and getting really drunk with a load of rowdy Welsh students, we were going to be having a chilled one. A lot of photography, antique shops, seaside and getting drunk on our own. So what's the crack with the Nikon FM2? Well, it's been one of my go-to cameras for ages. It's widely known as one of the most durable cameras. It can withstand temperature extremes and you can just drop it over and over again and it probably will still work. This is really good for me because I'm clumsy as shit. So anyway, we moseyed down to Abba for about sunset and I got straight out there with the Mike Tyson of cameras. I mainly switched between the 35mm and 80-200mm lenses and I was shooting on Ultramax 400. Not very fine grain, not very good exposure latitude, in this capitalist hellscape it'll have to do. So after a few too many beers, we shook off our hangovers and tried to get out for a bit of golden hour. Part of the reason why I love the FM2 so much is that it's fully mechanical so it can't hurt you emotionally. And also, it doesn't need any batteries to work. This is why the FM2 used to be a professional photographer's first or second camera, because it was just so reliable. Another thing that I love is just how good the lenses are. The 35 and the 50 mil lenses are really good and really sharp and pretty affordable too. We wandered around for a few hours that morning, trying to find interesting spots and just some nice stuff while it was still golden hour. And the Abba streets delivered pretty well with weird cars and weird houses. And the FM2 started to feel more and more like it could be used as a weapon. If you're enjoying this video so far, then please like and subscribe. It is really cool for you to do that and it means that I can continue making nice videos like this for you for free and it's nice, it's a cool thing to do. Later that day, we headed back out in probably my least favorite light. Midday harsh light is, like I said, really harsh. It just makes it really hard to get nice soft pictures pictures that are typically beautiful and it means you have to be a bit more creative and I'm not. But you know, photography is about trying to get good pictures in shit light and you know, thinking more about your compositions and trying to find a different way to get something interesting. So I kind of decided to try and look for some vibrant colors and also just think about composition and Maybe if there was something actually interesting going on, that's what I was looking for.
It's funny. I used the Contax G1 for a while. This is a camera that's thought of as like one of the best cameras you can get. It's got these incredible Zeiss lenses available. It's got autofocus. It's got auto everything. But when I used it, I kind of just felt like I was using a glorified point and shoot camera. And there's nothing wrong with that. Like if that's what you want from a camera, then that's great. But I think I realized that I need more control I need to be able to decide what I'm focusing on and I need to feel like I'm thinking about what I'm shooting. The Nikon FM2 is purposeful. Like you know you're taking pictures with this camera. I'm not saying that that makes these pictures any better. I'm just saying that the process for me was important I wanted to feel like I was thinking about this process as opposed to just pointing and shooting. Now, if you kind of like the idea of this, but you don't want to have to do absolutely everything, then there's the Nikon FE2, which has either aperture priority or shutter priority. I can't remember which, but you trade off some of that durability because that has an electronic shutter and relies on batteries to shoot. So we ended our day by the pier. The Nikon FM2 had delivered, and so had Aberystwyth. The next day, me and Katie slowly headed back to Manchester, stopping only to demolish the biggest Sunday roast that I could fit on a plate. In the car ride back, I thought about how the best camera is not always the best camera for you, or vice versa. You shouldn't really be worrying so much about, can I get this camera? If I get this camera, then that's when I'll be this kind of photographer. It's really, really unimportant. It is your tool and obviously you want it to be good enough, but it kind of doesn't really matter that much. So the Nikon FM2 might not be the camera for you. The Contax G2 might not be the camera for you. It might be, a Canon A1. It's about what you're comfortable with, happy with, and what consistently produces the kind of results that you want. After that, all of the changes are pretty minor. And maybe one of the reasons why I love the FM2 so much is because it's just so simple. Anyway, I really hope you enjoyed this video. I really enjoyed putting it together. And it was nice to do a kind of trip type video again. If you enjoyed this one, drop me a like and subscribe. It's a really cool and nice thing for you to do. And I'm gonna leave you with a song. It's called In Spite of Ourselves by the Viagra Boys. And you're gonna love it.